Well, what's up, everybody? This is Chili Mostly, a.k.a. the coolest man on YouTube. What it do, what it do, what it do. Before we start this video, can you please, please hit that like button. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Because over here is lit. I do a lot of unboxings. And I think I'm great. So, without further ado, let's move along with the unboxing. So you already know, Memphis. Me and Senior Big Knife, you know how we get down. We unbox shit. So I already cut it because you know cutting a box is the hardest part when you're doing it one-handed. So I just cut it pre prematurely. <laughs> I just cut it early and uh, you know, I rock like that. The receipt, the new Nike receipts, which I like a lot. Look at this foolishness. Look at this Tom fucking foolishness. I do not like sloppy shit, man. Come on, Nike. Use this big ass box for one pair of shoes. Got return labels and everything. This motherfucker. Alright, so let's set this to the side. Get over there. Try to get these. I'm just gonna take them out. Alright, so we got a regular old black Jordan brand box. A little normal shit. Alright. Boom. Size 12 is usual. Air Jordan 13 retro. 185 on that retail. But somehow Nike sold them for 170 the day of the release. I think it was a blender. I mean a blender, or he might do it on purpose. I don't know. So it was 170. Plus I used one of my 10% coupons. So they were like 150 something. And you know how I do. So that's what it is. White, black, true red, cement gray, Jordan 13. You already know. Now, for y'all who don't know, 13 is by far my favorite Jordan. Like, by far. You know what I mean? No play play. Like, all the way. 13. Now, the um the latest ones that came out, you know them fake-ass barons with the blue fucking jump man on the toe? I mean, on the um, tongue, which I couldn't stand. Oh, yeah, these cool. Nah, I got something to say about this. But uh, I'll be back to it. But, um, you know, the ones that came out and that reflective bullshit. Couldn't buy those, so those are just too corny. And, you know, I'm a real nigga, so I don't fuck with corny. And, uh, you know, that it was just a bad look, man. So I was kind of sad because, you know, 13 was my shit, and I couldn't even cop them. So these was coming out, and I was like, okay, I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? Because I always wanted a pair of gray toes. But, you know, as most of y'all might know, you know, this used to be suede. So all the gray toes you would see after market for resale you know, the pods would all be pink because the red would bleed onto the pods over the years. You know what I mean? So, I never really felt comfortable buying a pair of um, great toes that had pink pods. You know what I'm saying? So, I never really got around to buying them. And now, what make these special too is this is actually the OG colorway. See, people think the great toes that came out in 05 are original great toes. But that's not true. There are actually these great toes right here with the great tongue that came out in China back in like 98. So, this is actually an OG colorway. just didn't come out in America. So, when niggas just like, people kind of don't like the gray tongue on it, which I don't like either. I'd rather the tongue be white, but, you know, people don't like the gray tongue. But, hey, it's an OG. It's a real OG. The 05 ain't an OG. The 05 is just, you know, a, a different release. It's not even the same color red. The 05 is like a burgundy. This is like an actual, like, you know, varsity red type red. All right, so, you know, the shoe is dope. I like the shoe. But, me being a 13, nigga, the second I pick these up, the quality is trash compared to, like, 13s from, like, 2010. Like, I got all the 13s that came out in 2010. You know, the flints, the altitudes, the cherry reds, the playoffs. You know, I got all them shits, man. Like, that's like that, those are, like, my normal rotation. I wear those a lot. Those are so much heavier than these. These are so light. They feel mad flimsy. Like, mad flimsy. Like, 13s are normally heavy. That's why I like them. They feel real bulky. I like bulky sneaks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not balling in these shits. These just my, like, you know, walk around joints. So, the quality, even the leather on here, trash. Damn. Yo, y'all niggas is fucked up, man. Damn. If somebody sent me these shits, man, I think these are, like, some super perfect, you know, Jones or something. You know what I'm saying? The shoe itself looks nice, but the quality is terrible. Terrible. 
I ain't even gonna lie to you. You know, Uncle Chili, I keeps it uh, 100% at all times. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't gonna stare down the wrong streets. I ain't gonna tell you something that's dope when it ain't. If the shit trash, is trash. You feel me? The quality on these drones is horrible. Horrible. There's even... Oh, yeah, it is. I was about to say, <laughs> shit. Yeah, I would definitely think these was phony if somebody sent me these shit. I bought these on eBay or something. I would think these shit was phony as fuck. Yeah, the quality is terrible though, man. Look at that shit. You got shit like sticking up all over the place and all that. Look at that. Got mad glue marks. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> they don't give a goddamn either. Yeah. These definitely ain't fucking with the 2010s on no level. But, it is what it is. You get what you get from the brand. They make you want to quit this shit, I'll tell you that. Don't play spend no more fucking money with these nuts. Hey, yeah, my only gripe with this shoe, though, that I kind of wish, you know, like, you know, I wish they had is, I wish this was still suede. I don't like the fact that this is um rubber or whatever this is. Or Neo, you know, whatever that foam shit is. I wish it's still suede, even though it would bleed. But, I mean, shit, it's 2014, man. Y'all can change up something so it won't bleed like it did on the 2005s. Damn, I'm salty, though. Look at that shit, man. That's like, it's crazy. I don't know. I ain't too enthused, but I like the colorway, man. Like, the shoe itself is going to be a good dope rock. You know what I mean? All the colors are the way I expected them to be. The gray is the gray I expected. The red is the red I expected. I think the red might be a step darker than, like, the cherries, though. Might be. Like, this leather, it feels, like, plasticky. You know what I'm saying? Like on the other ones, this shit is mad, like soft, and like you rub your finger on it, you leave like dents. This shit is kind of like, you know, it's kind of hard. I didn't mean to turn this into a bassing session, but I'm just keeping it a buck, man. It's my first impressions. It's what I see out the box. So I gotta tell y'all how I feel, man. Remember, please rate and comment, man. Let me know what you think, yo. And sub if you ain't already do so. You heard? Yeah, they dropping the ball with this quality, dog. I'm not feeling it at all. Some close-up looks. Like, look at that tumble. You think that's some good-ass tumble leather, right? Nah, man. It's like they, like, forcing the issue now. Like, they know how to make everything look like it's supposed to look, but it ain't the same, man. But that's not the same, bro. Even that shit don't look right. I ain't seen it outside the camera yet. Right. This is damn carbon feel like. Yeah, it's still the same. Is this soft on the older ones? I feel like this is hard. This shit is like dumb soft. Look. I feel like it was hard on the other ones. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna leave the annotation right here if it's fucking not hard. I mean, if it's soft and old ones are hard or whatever. Alright, man, but fuck it, y'all. I'm about done talking about this bullshit. Alright, man, it's been long enough on these. It's your boy Chili Mostly. I'm gonna sign out, y'all. Peace.